this last video for the trig review, we're going to find unknown ang angles or sides. From the previous review, we learned how to label sides correctly by labeling the hypotenuse, an arc through the angle of interest, which we'll call theta here, the adjacent angle A, and the opposite angle O. The next thing we want to ke always keep in our mind is the Sokotoa kind of rules. The sine of that theta is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cosine of theta is the ratio of the adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And tangent of the angle theta is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And then the third thing that we learned in that third video was how to find the angle given the sides. And we found out we could find the angle by either taking the arc sine of the ratio of opposite divided by the hypotenuse, the arc cosine of the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, or the arc tangent of the opposite divided by the adjacent. Now this part, we're going to mix it up to solve for the missing parts of the triangle, and this will come in handy when you do physics. In this slide, we see that we have a triangle with an angle of 25 degrees, a hypotenuse of 6, and we'd like to know what the opposite side is. That's our unknown. That means that when we have an opposite and we have a hypotenuse, that means we use the sine function. As you recall, the sine of the angle theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Now we're going to solve for the opposite side. We can do that one of two ways. You can either solve for the variable itself without plugging in, or we can solve by plugging in as we go. In this case, we're using the plugging in as we go and we solve for one variable. So sine of theta, remember, is opposite divided by hypotenuse. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 6. That means 6 times the sine of 25 degrees equals the opposite side. And if you do this, you'll find out that 2.5 equals the opposite side. In this example, we want to know what the adjacent side is. We know the hypotenuse and we know the angle. When we know these two things, then we can use this cosine function and solve for the adjacent side because we know that the cosine of the angle equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. When we solve for the adjacent side by multiplying h on both sides of the equation, then we get h hypotenuse times the cosine of theta equals the adjacent side, a. In other words, 7 times cosine of 50 equals a, which is the adjacent side. When we solve for using our calculator, we get that 4.5 equals a. In this case, we are not interested in the hypotenuse. We have the adjacent side. We're interested in the opposite side, and we have the angle theta. In this situation, we would use the tangent function because the tangent function of equals the opposite divided by the adjacent. In this case, we'll solve for O, which is the opposite side. So adjacent side times the tangent of theta equals our O, which is the opposite side. Plugging those things in the equation, we get 15 tan theta, which is 25 degrees, equals the opposite side. In other words, 7 equals the opposite side. In this last example, we want to know what the adjacent side is. We know what the opposite side is, and we know what the angle is. Again, we will use the tangent function. 
In this case, we know that the tangent of theta equals the opposite divided by adjacent. But instead of um, solving quickly, we're going to have to do a little rearranging of the function. The easiest way to do that, which most students love, is to put a 1 underneath the tangent of theta and then cross multiplying. That gives us a tangent theta equals the opposite. Then we would divide by the tangent of theta to solve for our adjacent side. So the adjacent side equals opposite divided by tangent of theta. Plugging those things in, making our substitutions correctly, the adjacent side equals 6 divided by the tangent of 30, which gives us a value of 10.4. I hope this will help you solve your trig functions in physics.